Yeah. Try to rap this real, cause the other make me ill. Harassed by them boys on the daily, make me feel. Pain come from bills that will have you stone killed. Hope with them grills and they ride the big wheels. Trump over hike shit, calm better chill. Gotta get this cheese, not these preferred meals. Rat talk and thoughts will get that back pill. Like an orange cut by a knife, I'm so detailed. Gotta rep this real, cause the other made me ill. Harassed by them boys on the daily, make me feel. Pain come from bills that will have you stone killed. Hope with the grills and the ride the big wheels. We gotta get this cheese, not cheese, preferred meals. From Cobra Hype Chick, calm better chill. Whack talking thoughts, we'll get that back pill. Like an orange cut by a knife, I'm so detailed. This real vision. Real vision. You watching right. real vision right now. You watching real vision on GMRS TV. Yeah. Say, say real vision. Real vision, you heard it from the best. <laughs> real vision. Real vision. Real vision. Real vision. You know what I'm saying? GMR and ST. It's real vision. It's GMR and STV. GMR and S. Grown man, real nigga shit. What's real vision? A real vision is behind us. We got that nigga Ray J here. Yeah. This is friend with real vision. Real vision. Real vision. Real vision. You in the motherfucking building, the realest shit on fucking TV. Can say black people break the words that be said, man. I have them devils quaking, body heavy aching, ain't no time for faking. They gotta have you shaking, the wrong move you taking. Body heavy aching, ain't no time for faking. They gotta have you shaking, the wrong move you taking. Gotta rep this real, cause the other make me ill. Harass by them boys on the daily, make me feel. Oh yeah, what it is, man, live in the flesh. Back once again, man. You gotta give thanks, man, to the life giver, man. The realest of all, man. Nigus, Nigas, nigga of all niggas. Lord of Lords, conquer line of the tribe of Judah, real lineage, real heritage, Emperor Ali I Selassie the first, man. Black God. GMRNS, man, just structure and heritage, man. You already know what it be like, man. It's your boy, man, live in the flesh, man. It's your highness, man. A.K.A. the Ruiner, A.K.A. I Self. Y'all already know what it is with me. It's your boy Jay Jizzle, also known as Super Tess. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We back live on this motherfucker again, man. Yeah, man. We first of all want to apologize to all the real niggas out there, man, across the globe. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere, man, that's in existence and uh, watching, man. We won on last week. You know what I'm saying? Had a little problem, but we back here. We got to give thanks for what's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? We're going to step it up and, and get into some GMRNS, man. Make sure y'all know, just in case y'all don't know, and all the new viewers that's tuning in, man, this is Real Vision, man. Grown man, real nigga shit TV, man. And just in case y'all boys don't know, like I just said, man, we're going to keep repping the real shit. We're going to keep the shit hood. We're going to keep it 100, man. Like I said, we got to stay true to ourselves, man. We the niggas, man. Just in case y'all don't know about the word nigga itself and the real origin of it, because a lot of people tend to hear the word and get it misconstrued and start thinking about negativity and shit. But those are only the thoughts that was basically given to us growing up in this motherfucking slave ass mentality right. that niggas do it. The real ancient roots of the word, man, the people east of the Niger River was called the nigger people. Ancient Africa, you know what I'm saying? Even to this day, like I've said several times before, the word king in Ethiopian Amharic is negus. 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 So it's negus, negus. That's the king of kings, of hard, real Ethiopian tiger. That's a nigga of all niggas. <laughs> and you got the country right now in Africa that's called Niger, which basically is nigga. Same shit. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato, hushmanzada, hushmanzada, <laughs> like I said. It really yeah. don't matter because you know it's the same thing. Nigga, Niger, Nigeria, niggeria, anything. And even one of the Egyptian gods in the ancient Egyptian were called nigger. It was spelled N-G-R. So... 
we got to let the real shit about nigga. They just turn it into a negative. We accept it. Now they just mad because niggas out in the streets don't turn it back to a positive, man. I say my nigga, they don't really know what they're saying, but we come to educate you, show you why you really so passionate about it because it's a part of the real heritage, man. That's why it's grown man, real nigga shit first. We come for the real niggas first, everything else and everybody else after, man. But anybody, no matter who you is, what color you is, what nation you at, what creed you're from, you can get truth, man. We're going to lock in GMRNS. The real nigga in you is your real righteous soul, man, because we all come from the real ancient black Nile civilization. You can go check the real text on that shit. It's GMRNS, man. My bad. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we're going to get into it, man, this week. You know what I'm saying? We got a new number this week. Just for this week going on, man. It's 813-254-3076, man. We're going to get right into this show. It's basically about the history. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I would get that little stuff better that y'all don't see it here. Show them. I hope y'all knew and had fun that this past Sunday was Valentine's Day. Oh. You know what I'm saying? All that nice little lovey dovey and everybody was a little cool down here in the Bay. I know a lot of niggas love staying in, boy, because I know y'all niggas like them girls, boy. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people got together and they gave their gifts and ate their chocolate and all that shit. And everybody had a little fun. And I hope you did, man. Happy Valentine's Day. Everybody doing the shit. But you know what? GMRNS, we got to know the difference between being a child and being grown is when you're a child, you don't know no better. So you're just doing things because you think that's what you're supposed to do. Right. You're following suit. That's you know right. what I'm saying? But when you grow, the whole thing to separate the adults from the children, now you have purpose in what you do, knowing. It's about knowing, having a knowledge which leads to the wisdom and the understanding. So having purpose. So I hope you know why you're doing this shit. Because we're going to get into the origin of Valentine's Day this week, man. That's what we're going to dive into, getting into where this shit come from, chronologically tracing this shit up to right now, and dropping the GMR and that's how it relates to right now right here, man, because we got to keep this shit trail 100%, man. So we're going to get into a little document that we researched, man. You can find some of this information on um, online on the internet. It show um, PR log, fresh I mean, the free press release, excuse me. And they get into the history of Valentine's Day. And, um, well, look, um, text and uh, context and information, the historical facts we're going to get into right now. It shows on uh, Valentine's Day is a popular festival of love and romances, traces its origin to ancient Roman festivals. And uh, has not been created by like car companies or all them things you think is going on right now, candies and stuff. Uh, various legends associated with the festival along with the belief that um, birds begin to mate from this day. A lot of little stories basically that went around. So the popula popularity of the day grows through the years. But coming from the, um, the real day of the ancient Romans, it really gets into a um, day and a feast. A feast called a feast of Lupercalia. That's where it really uh, one of the feasts that it comes from. And it shows that historians trace the origin of Valentine's Day, the ancient Roman Empire, as I stated. It is said that in the Rome of ancient times, people observed a holiday on February 14th to honor Juno, the queen of, of Roman gods and goddesses. The Romans also regarded Juno as the goddess of women and marriage. On the following day, February 15th, began the fertility festival called the Feast of Lupercalia. And that's what we're getting into that part right there. Yeah, most definitely. Now, one of the aspects of that festival, uh, Lupercalia, uh, basically, the men and the women, you know, they're all stripped, butt-ass naked, you know, in the open, everybody to see. And they'll sacrifice a goat and a dog. Now, what they did was they would cut skins from the goat dip it in the blood and the men would run through the streets of Rome basically slapping the women like in the face all over the body with the strips from the goats dipped in the blood some nasty mm -hmm. shit yeah now uh what, what the reason they did that they said it was for purification and it helped their